Hey everyone, Steve the Amateur Historian. If you want to really waste your time before watching this, you can go back and watch this like 45 minute rant I did in relation to an article that came out. And before I get too crazy into this, there's there's just other little things that I, just, I don't feel like have gotten the notification that they deserve. This is 133A, you know, the picture where they, it's claimed that this stance is entirely normal and possible. Which, if you look at it this way, you can see that seems weird. I think I'm, I'm looking at his shoes. This is a very clear copy of the image. And I'm looking at his shoes. Those almost look like floor shines. Which, there's no way Lee Harvey Oswald's affording floor shines on his salary. But, another thing I've noticed, and maybe it's just some weird artifact, I don't know. It's not coming out quite as well on this camera, obviously, as I'm seeing it. But, you know, his pants are coming down. It's very thin to his knee, and then the pants puff out here. So it looks really weird, like his knee is really thin is this really thin area and then his pants pop out going down to his leg but the fact of the matter is his leg is going angled sideways and then it's still angled here but it's a considerably less angle it's going like do do and i'm telling you you cannot get your knee to go like side to side left to right like that so, furthermore, you're about to see me try to do a test where I literally stand, like, right over there and try to recreate this pose as perfectly as I can with, you know, my given situation. Most important thing is addressing this stance, which seems to be a little off. And people have said are signs that it was, this picture was, you know, messed around with. Why this would get messed with, I don't know. Like, I honestly don't even understand the motivation, but that is the heart of the argument going on here, is whether this is a viable stance or not. So I got a few pieces of tape here that I'm going I'm to line up his center of gravity with its correlation, or kind of how it correlates to his, what is his uh, right leg. And why I used gaffer tape, well, probably because it's the only tape I had. I don't know, because you can barely see it. I flash a little light on there. So you can see, here's the gaffer tape. So it's going from essentially his center, which you can see is kind of lined off right here. You know, this is his center, um, where his you know, body is, where his hips are. And it goes down, and you can see that kind of the center of his torso, or the, you know, the base of his stomach, uh, lines up with the edge, the outer edge of his um, right knee, because, you know, the edge of his right knee is going to be, like, right here, and then here's his center. The backyard photographs of Lee Harvey Oswald, which were used to 
purport his guilt in the assassination of President John F. Kennedy because they show him holding a rifle that was presumed to be the gun that he used to kill the president. He has a rifle on his hip that he claimed that, or that they claim he used to kill Officer Tibbet later on in the day. Even if you don't know a lot about the Kennedy assassination, you probably know that Lee Harvey Oswald's the guy that's gone down for it. And these infamous backyard pictures have been used to claim, um, well, to purport his guilt, showing him with this, this, all this evidence that people who believe in conspiracies, like me in this case, uh, claim, claim he never owned the gun. I don't believe he ever owned the gun. This is how they try to refute that. So in this, and this is, you know, the most popular of the multiple backyard photographs, but the Dartmouth analysis for some reason doesn't address the other photographs. They just address this one. It's been stated that Oswald's stance, you see the way his legs are all going this way, but he's kind of upright, that this is um, an uncomfortable to almost impossible stance. And, you know, without really delving too much into it, Dartmouth says they made a 3D model that shows, yeah, this is a perfectly, um, perfectly um, normal stance or a stance that, like, you can do without much issue. But I will be the judge of that. Dartmouth says that's a perfectly reasonable stance. Other people have, you know, have analyzed this, said that this is practically impossible because you're all completely off balance. Nobody would just naturally stand that way. But I've never actually seen anybody try to just stand up and do it, so I'm going to try to do that now. So I have to get this lined up with this while standing the same way um, that he is. And just to, you know, prove my center of gravity to you, here's a piece of tape. I'm gonna run up and down, run down myself. My belly button's right here. If you don't believe me, woo! Uh, so it's just it's lined up straight to my buttons. So here is the best of my ability, my center of gravity, meaning um, the edge of this knee has to pretty much line up with this tape. I do not have a newspaper or a rifle, but I'll tell you one thing: I have. Uh, an old tripod, I've held an airsoft rifle, you know, with comparable weaponry before, this is about the same weight. And I got a partial roll of toilet paper, this is about, and it's rolled up, just like in the picture, this is about the same as a uh, weight as the paper in his hand. So now, the most important thing is, I have to realize I'm looking at his picture, so I have to do it in reverse, which means this leg has to be behind and bent in, so my Everything about me is going this way, even though the picture I'm looking at, he's going this way. This foot is behind and pointed slightly this direction. The rifle is going to be right here, and the newspaper is right here. I want to line, I want to get some more tape on me to show kind of right here is where I need to, I need to get this to line up with that is what we're going for here. Okay. Fuck. <coughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I'm really trying to actually do this. I want to see if this is possible. Um, I have to get this to, like, over here, though. Okay, okay. Um, okay, I don't know why he's standing like, like, it's almost like, okay, um, well, it's weird because it's like my leg goes down and then inward. I guess that's what happens. Um, but, okay, so I have to, what the fuck? How? It's weird. How do you make this, how do you fucking, oh my god, I feel like I'm going to tear my knee. No, it's weird because his foot is going, it's pointing out, it goes straight up. Like, it looks like his leg goes straight up and then over. So I have to, like, keep this straight, but move everything else, like, like this. This is so fucking uncomfortable. This is ridiculous. There's no way he can stand like that. I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely trying to disprove this element of things. I'm getting rid of you because you're just, okay. I'm not even going to look at the angle of his leg. I'm just going to try to get my center of gravity. I can't. See, because when you lean this way, your knee goes with you naturally. Like, look, if I start just leaning to the side without affecting myself. See? Because your legs are trying to keep you balanced. 
you know? Like this. It's like he's doing th something like this, and I can't even freaking stand up to it. Like, I'm legitimately starting to actually feel discomfort in my, like, right below my knee, like, right here. It's actually making me, like, it's like I'm pulling something in there. And I can't, I can't stand up that way. Like, and, you know, I can, you know, I can bend, I can fold, I can stand, you know, any number of kind of goofy, weird positions. But I, I, I'm literally starting to feel specifically right here, like, pain in my knee. It pulls because... Your lower leg is going like this, and then your other, so you're trying to make your knee do this thing. You're trying to bend it side to side when it's built to go not do that. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely insane. There's no way anybody could stand like that for more than a couple seconds. And there's absolutely no reason why anybody would stand that way. It's uncomfortable. Absolutely insane. If I'm Lee Harvey Oswald, and I'm saying, take a picture of me, honey. Here's my rifle. Here's my thing. I'm going to stand like this. Like, even this is weird. Like, it feels weird. Like, everything's kind of shifting to the right. Even this feels weird. I feel like I would stand like this. Or, like, if I have to do it the way he is, I would do it like, you know. Even holding the rifle, like, I feel like I'd be holding it more, like, upright. Like, holding it out like that feels kind of weird, but whatever. If I was doing it, posing for a picture, if I wanted to, like, look good, I'd be standing upright. I don't even feel like, and if I was to, like, stand off balance, I would stand like this. Balancing all the weight on my lower foot, you know, but I'm kind of retaking his pose with this foot behind. But you'll note, my center is not out here. Like, if I was doing that, this would have to be like over here. I'd have to move this over. Like, what is that? Several inches. Nobody would stand like that normally. It's ridiculous. And it's weird because you think even if, even if, okay, we say somebody else was posing in that picture and they put Oswald's face on him. Why is his stance so weird? Like, wouldn't the rest of the picture from the chin down still probably be just one person. So I think I think this gives more credence to the idea that this picture was pieced together bit by bit. It wasn't just someone went into Lee Harvey Oswald's backyard, they took a picture of him in the backyard with all this stuff, and then they just stuck Oswald's face on there. I think they took a picture of the back, a backyard, they put the body in however they did, they cropped the newspaper in, which would explain why Oswald's fingers look all weird and deformed over it and why there's shadowing isn't right. They put his face here. I think it was put together multiple different pieces. Um, and they freaking did something with his legs. I don't know why the legs are like that. I really don't. All I know is my knee freaking hurts now from even trying to do that. Not too bad, but it pulls. It pulls right here. If he, if he was holding onto a wall, I could understand how he could do that. Um, but yeah, it pulls it pulls like this. It pulls like it, it pulls in weird directions your knee isn't supposed to get pulled in. So naturally it hurts afterwards. So I'm sorry. I feel like I personally just invalidated that whole story. I don't care what your 3D graphics do. I'm a real human body. I'm not a 3D fake graphic. I'm a human who's practically the same height as Lee Harvey Oswald, within like an inch, or like a half an inch, what am I talking about? And I literally can't stand the way that literally in the picture I am looking at, that I've seen a million times, I can't stand that way. 
It's a joke. It's nonsense. The picture is fake. This is just one of dozens of examples that show that these pictures are artificial. And yet people still try to argue their authenticity. It's ridiculous. It's a joke. I'm tired of it. I'm going to go ice my knee. Hopefully I made my point. Steve the Amateur Historian, thank you so much for watching. Remember, like, share, subscribe. Hit up my Patreon if you want. Help me out that way. I'll love you if you do. Anyway, till next time, Steve the Amateur Historian, I'll see you next time.